I'm gonna click the joint tool, press on the last joint, um, and then we're gonna make a joint. Whoa, that's big suddenly. Okay. Uh, we are going to change the size of the joints later on, but for now, press around here on your hand and go to the first uh, knuckle on your hand, then the second, the third, and go to the hand in the end. Um, I think I know why it looks... Uh, hmm. Yeah, anyway. You can rotate it, and now I'm just gonna scale the joints so they fit properly. <coughs> That's about it, and I would like to make the radius of these a bit smaller. So just go to select this and middle mouse button on the viewport. Um, yes. And at this one, I'm gonna press Control D to duplicate it. I'm gonna move it. Oh, I'm gonna move it a bit. And you can see this is for. This was too much actually. This is for uh, the other finger. And it, it's okay to move this joint because um, this joint is already orientated to this. So when you move it, it uh, doesn't matter that it doesn't follow this joint, the orientation. Just uh <laughs> so you know. Um, I'm gonna scale this to fit again. And I can see that I should rotate it. Like this. And I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take the middle one actually and duplicate it. By pressing Ctrl D. Moving it out. Gonna rotate it a bit, moving, tweaking, there you go, um, and I'm gonna make the last one for the thumb so you can see the thumb is a bit more uh, different and uh, I'm gonna talk about this in a second when I just uh, got this right You might be thinking, why am I making uh, these first joints? And uh, the answer is that um, you kind of got them on a real character as well. Um, and that's basically why you want them on a uh, model as well, so you can make a cup with your hand. Um, and now you can see that this orientation is a bit is a bit different from uh, the uh, the real uh, finger I made, so I'm just gonna rotate it a bit, so it's gonna fit a bit more. Actually, I'm gonna do it with this joint instead. It should be something like this. I'm just gonna do this on eye measurement, measurement, and uh, that uh, makes makes the joints for the hand so right now you only got um, the one side of the character what you want to do now is select this joint this joint 
uh, you want to parent them together and first you should select the child followed by the parent and pressing P this makes the hip joint follow the first spine joint and we're gonna do the same thing with the shoulder P so if I move this uh, spine piece the shoulder will follow which meaning the arm as well and it also means that we can mirror, mirror our joints so if I select the hip I can go to skeleton mirror joint and uh, I select the option box um, now you got some settings and the first setting is where you want your joint to be mirrored and this can be kind of tricky but this is the axis which it's going to be mirrored across so down here you can see the axis and you can see it's gonna be uh, set Y so I'm gonna use uh, YZ and uh, you can actually replace the name of the joints um, so <laughs> it might be a good idea just to name the joints before and we are going to do that so let's just start naming before we uh, mirror our joints this is gonna be spine oh sorry M for middle spine uh, 01 joint and this is the naming convention I use and I uh, recommend that you use the same because it's just easier I'm gonna copy the name change the oops change it to a 2 this is gonna be 3 and this is very important that you name the stuff because when you get to scanning later on and everything is named joint 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 <laughs> it's very hard to skin because you don't know what the hell you are selecting uh, but if it got a name like spine you know that ah okay this is the spine um, so that's pretty easy and we can also check if we really got all the spine joints and it seems that we do so I'm just gonna continue now under this you can see there's two joints I'm gonna select this one and it's gonna be called M for middle neck joint and uh, this one is gonna be called M head joint so under this you can see that I got two as well and this one is going to be called M head and joint um, and this is of course the M jaw joint M jaw and joint oops I wrote J instead of jaw Ah, <laughs> a bit too fast. There you go. So this is gonna be the, and when uh, you have, um, when naming this, you uh, want to consider that it's uh, which arm it is. And this is uh, the left arm for the character, so it should be L. Shoulder. J and T. And this should be. L so you can call this arm base J and T left arm M D for middle J and T left arm and J and T and this is gonna be there left hand JNT oh yeah <laughs> and now we're going on to the hands and I always mess up what uh, the hands are called 